When I first started recording Mario Kart 8 Wii U back in 2014, I wanted to record high-quality gamepad footage. Because the gamepad in Mario Kart 8 shows the list of all the players and what positions they're in and the items that they are holding. And a lot of the time my commentary refers to what's going on on there, like, oh there's a red shell behind me, I gotta react to that. So it'd be nice to actually show what's on the gamepad. Now I can use a web camera to record the screen, however I need to factor in focus, lighting, and all that stuff, and plus if I knock the web camera out a little bit, it'll throw it off alignment. The quality is alright, but we can do better. With Wii U modding, it is possible to stream the gamepad screen to a computer screen, however that can affect the frame rate of the game itself. Plus the quality of the stream footage is not as good as the actual gamepad. There used to be gamepad capture cards from a Japanese manufacturer named Katsukiri. However, they closed down recently. The video quality from those capture cards are really good, however, they're really expensive. It was about $200 to send a gamepad over to Japan and to get it installed, or $600 if you wanted to get the gamepad with a Wii U. There might be some people who have Wii U gamepad capture cards, however, probably not that many since the Wii U failed as a system and not many people have it, so there's not much interest to actually record the gamepad. However, there's another method that has a lot of potential. Use an emulator to play Wii U games on PC, and then record the gamepad screen that way. Lately I've been using the Semu emulator to play Mario Kart 8 Wii U online. I've actually been using footage from these tests in my recent Mario Kart Tour videos. I'm currently trying to optimize the game to get the frame rate to run more smoothly. And as I mentioned, it's possible to play online with people using actual Wii U's. Now there are a few gameplay issues with the online and Semu emulator. For example, if there's lag, there's occasional frame rate drops. And for people playing on Wii U's, the frame rate can drop during the countdown, which could easily mess up the startup boost. I've also noticed that blue shells and red shells don't quite function correctly. Sometimes they'll go forward in front of you and then come back and sometimes hit you on the side. As Simu gets more updates, it'll hopefully get to the level of online stability like Mario Kart Wii Weemfy on Dolphin Emulator. Now let me show you the actual way my footage is being recorded. It's being recorded in a layout like this, which is similar to my stream layout, but without the webcam and text. And with some video cropping, I just put the gamepad screen onto the left side of the main screen. And this is the gaming setup I'm using right now to play with the emulator. I've got two other monitors hooked up to my computer, one for the main screen and another for the gamepad. That way it's similar to how I'd actually play on a Wii U. So that's how I record Mario Kart Wii U gamepad footage using Semu emulator. I'm gonna keep working to get this to run more smoothly on my computer, and hopefully there are updates that'll make the online more smooth as well. If you want to try setting this up for yourself, go ahead and check the description for a bunch of helpful links. You will need a powerful computer for a setup like this, and also to play online, you'll need a Wii U that is modded, that way you can extract the account data from that. Once again, all that will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and see you all next time. Hey there, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you like the mods you see in this video, then go ahead and check out my Mario Kart modding playlist. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time.